Hey everybody, it's Eric here with Spartan Auto Works. Today we are working on a 2008 Volkswagen Jetta. We are going to clone a key. We have an uh, ID48 uh, Volkswagen key in our burner there. So, easiest way to do this with the IM508 is just go to a mobilizer, go to Volkswagen, uh, smart mode. Uh, most of the stuff for the Audi group stuff is easy under smart mode. Um, I found in the Mercedes stuff, you definitely have to do expert mode and kind of walk through it a little bit. All right, well, what we're going to do is like, say yes to all this because you have a whole bunch of stuff that's going to bring up your option screen here. We're going to copy 48 key. So we have a key in the ignition. It's going to read the immobilizer data. A blank key must be cloned. ID modifiable. Continue key copying. We're going to say yes. Please turn the ignition on. We're just going to cycle the ignition. Cycle the ignition here. Click OK. So we have our good key in the ignition. We have our programmable key in the, the chip reader. It's going to take a minute. I absolutely love this about the Altel um, also in the IM508 and the uh, 608. Uh, I have both of those tools, but the, uh, the process is the same between the two. It makes it really nice if you have a key and just want to add a key. Otherwise, you got to decrypt the pin or pull the pin to go add it and then relearn all the keys. It's kind of a real pain. So I really do like this feature. Almost done with reading the immobilizer data. Then it's going to read and write key. Then it's going to make the key. I feel like it takes a long time to make the key, but probably five minutes top start to finish here. Almost done, 80%. Alright, so the immobilizer data is read. pop up here in a second it should tell us to put a key in the, the key reader all right so it's going to give you the two keys that are programmed with different IDs so I've already got one for the 214 I'm going to make a duplicate so we're going to do the other key ID I'm going to make them two keys for this all right please put blank key in the programmer which obviously we have One thing about the programmer I will mention is sometimes you have to find um, a good spot for the, uh, the key so it reads. I always recommend going in and putting your key in and doing a test read first or an automatic ID first just to see you know where it's at and where you got to kind of position it. Alright, it usually hangs here about the 80% and then uh, I guess it kind of verifies the key at this point. Key copying success. Alright, now we're going to cycle all the key. We'll take our original key out. We'll take our new flip blade key right there. Put it in the ignition. It starts right up and runs. And as you can see, there is uh, no immobilizer uh, uh, message on the dash. Everything's running just like it should. I'm going to go back and burn a chip that I have as a spare. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it using the IM508 um, probably one of the best features of it actually when it comes to these Volkswagens because they can kind of be a pain trying to duplicate a key you know decoding the uh, the pin uh, sometimes I, one of them I did took like an hour to decode it so this thing works great I uh, hope this helps you if you uh, have an IM508 and trying to do a, a clone on a key